Number 13, a proton moves at 7.5 times 10 to the 7 meters per second perpendicular to a magnetic field. The field causes the proton to travel in a circular path of radius 0.8 meters. What is the field strength? When they say what is the field strength, they mean the magnetic field strength. Okay. So when you're talking about a charged particle moving in a circular path, all right, you have to use this formula in order to answer, almost guaranteed use this formula to answer the question. The radius of the circular path a charged particle will travel with in a magnetic field will equal the mass of that moving particle, that moving charged particle, divided, uh, excuse me, multiplied by then the tangential velocity of that particle as it moves on a circular path, right? It's moving around in a circle. So what you're, what you're concerned with is, let's say the vo velocity at this particular point in time, the tangential component, V sub T. That's measured in meters per second, not the angular radians per second value, not that one, okay? Divided then by the magnitude of the charge, it should technically be the absolute value of it, and then multiplied by the strength of that magnetic field. So look, if they're asking us to solve for B, right? What's the field strength, the magnetic field strength? Just simply bring this guy or girl on out of the denominator up into the numerator and bring this on down from the numerator into the denominator and look at how easy that is, right? Nice little trick. So now all we have to do is simply plug in the values. Now mass, did they tell you the mass? No, but they told you it is a what? A proton. So guess what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to memorize this. 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. That is the mass of a proton. The velocity, they gave that to you. 7.5 times 10 to the minus, uh, excuse me, times 10 to the 7th. What's the charge? Up, oh, they didn't tell that to you either, but guess what that means you're going to have to do? You're talking about a proton, you got to memorize the charge of it. It is the absolute value of a positive 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. That's the charge of a single proton, okay? Obviously, absolute value of a positive doesn't really do anything, uh, but just remember it's always absolute value, okay? Times the radius, and they told that to you. It's 0.8 meters. Those are the standard units. So all we got to do is simply plug and chug. So 0.167 or excuse me, 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27th, multiplied by 7.5 times 10 to the 7th, divided that by parentheses, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th, times 0.8. Close the parentheses, and here we're going to get a value of 0.979, I guess, roughly. Tesla, okay? Not the car, but the unit here, okay? For magnetic field, for the scientist. He was actually a person, not a car. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.